Welcome back to the channel, y'all. I'm Scotty G, back at it again. Just want to talk about something I've noticed for quite a while. Maybe not necessarily early in my life, but uh, as I've grown older, and now that I'm a father of a teenage boy, and a teenage girl, as a matter of fact, I wanted to go over a few things with you, uh, and I don't want this to sound like a rant. People talk about how men aren't men anymore. Well, I would agree with that to a point. And my question, or my uh, my point is, why? Why are we where we're at? As a culture, as a society, especially in the United States. So let's talk about it real quick. Why are men, many men, insecure? All right, they're, they're insecure in their masculinity. They don't really know how to be a man. And let's talk about it. Well, let's talk about uh, the last hundred years, shall we, real quick. We are not raised the same way as our fathers were, or their fathers were, or their fathers were. 100 years ago, our economy was based in agriculture, period. Most people lived in rural areas and basically were raised on a farm. That was that, that one change in culture has really had a drastic effect on men in the 21st century, especially the 2020s where we are now. Back then, a, a dude, Say, for instance, you're a little boy, okay? Your your day is going to comprise of going out in the fields with your father, who is with his father, with, with his brother, with your cousins. All of these men are going to be spending their entire day together. And that's what you do every day. That's what they did every day. They grew up on a farm. They grew up in a field and they grew up around other men. All of those lessons, all of that ingenuity, all of that hard ass wisdom was pushed down and passed down from generation to generation. That's the way it used to be. Well, nowadays, we don't have that anymore. Uh, in my lifetime, we've actually crossed a big threshold, which is where more than half of the population of the United States now lives in urban areas. So more than half of the people are not in a rural area. I was raised in a rural area, but I was raised a town kid, technically. The number one cause of insecurity in men and demasculization is the lack of father figures, period. That's it, the lack of father figures. Now, you can still have a masculine father figure. You can have, you can have that kind of stuff in the cities, but it was just part of life back in the day. It was just part of life. You just, it just worked that way. It just happened that way. Nowadays, if you don't have a father figure that's got his act together and is a, is a good dude. He's around. He's not sitting on the couch eating tater chips and scratching his balls watching the, sun, the Saturday football game. You're going to be you're going to be at a disadvantage in life. I mean, that's just the way it is. Now, did I have a, a perfect father or am I a perfect father? No, not at all. I've made mistakes. My father made mistakes, but my father kicked my ass as a kid. We didn't have anything, and I didn't have that op that option to just sit around most of the time. I had fun. Don't get me wrong. I wasn't raised in a prison, but I knew what it meant to go to work at a very early age. Twelve years old, I was working for a paycheck and paying Social Security, and it was that's just the way it was back then for Gen X dudes, um, at least where I grew up. It's not like that anymore. It's very rare for you to see uh, a guy in his teens, in his early teens, for sure, 
14, 15 years old to be working, to be out there. Maybe some fast food here and there. I see it every now and then, but not like it was. So that's the reason. So what do we do about it? Okay, what do we do about this? Let's just call it like it is. Now, everybody is so sensitive. My YouTube comments section is full of these kind of people where they just want to tear everybody else down. And, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. I'm out here trying to help people. If you want to listen, listen. If not, it's all good, man. I've just been doing this YouTube channel for about six months. Could really appreciate your help. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. I could really use the help to get the word out. Trying to keep it positive, but I call strikes and balls, okay? It's just the way I am. I'm a straight shooter, and I'm telling you that we just don't raise boys, in particular, like men anymore. That's just the way it is. The, the lack of father figure, that's the problem that we have. And how do we fix that? Well, if you're an insecure dude, if you've got problems in your life and you're watching me, it's not your fault. Okay? That's not your fault. It is all good. The only thing that you can control is yourself. Okay? If you want to be a better dude, you can. You can. It's not too late. You can reparent yourself, find yourself a good masculine role model, somebody that's happy, somebody that's successful, somebody has got their act together and just seems happy. Okay. A lot of these red pill people, these, these masculinity gurus online, there's a lot of grifters out there just basically wanting to take your dollars. It's unfortunate, but it is the way it is. And I can't change that, but at least I can tell you what I've seen, and those are my observations. Just men aren't men anymore because they're not raised by men. Period. You know, just the way it is. So if you're a dad and you're raising a son, be around, teach him. Just, just being there is what they need, okay? Do they need stuff to be comfortable? Yeah. You can make a good living and give them a good life, but they just need you to be around and to teach them and to be a good role model. Okay? So, there you go. I call it balls and strikes. And uh, lack of father figures, that's, that's the problem that we have in society. That's what I see. And uh, I don't think it's going to change anytime soon, but at least if I could get uh, get the word out to one or two of you out there, I call that a success, okay? Am I perfect? Nope. Far from it. I'm still learning. I keep an open mind. If you've got something to say and you got a point to make, shoot your shot, all right? But uh, I'll be around. Anyway, so until next time, be better than you were yesterday and be desirable.